Thanks to information from Game Informer, there have now been new details revealed covering the new Rise of Iron expansion for Destiny. As would be expected, there'll be new quests added, including a new story, as well as exotic quest lines, which I'm looking forward to. I'll give details to them in another video. By the looks of it, there will also be a progress tracking book, similar to the Moments of Triumph Year 2, which will make it a lot easier to keep track of where you're up to and what rewards you can earn. Pretty obviously the light level cap will increase. The base level is set to remain at 40, but by the looks of it the new light level cap will be 385 when it first launches, but when the hard mode raid comes out it is said to increase up to 400. As far as end game content goes, there will obviously be a new raid introduced, as well as a new cooperative arena, I would say similar to the Prison of Elders. There will be new strikes and reimagined old strikes. I'm hoping that means all of the old strikes will be brought forwards so that we have plenty to do. There will be a new class of enemy, there will be a faction from the Fallen, that have modified themselves using SIVA technology. So they may look like Fallen and probably act like Fallen but they'll have different abilities and behaviours. There will also be a new social space which will be unlocked after progression through the main story. It's called Felwinter's Peak and it will be similar to the tower or more likely the reef but obviously new vendors and probably a bit more interesting since there will even be wolves roaming around according to Bungie. Bungie have also changed the way that artifacts work. Looks like there's going to be some pretty interesting abilities granted by them. They'll make a more important role in your loadout and it definitely looks like a positive change. Exotic gear will also have the ability to have ornaments equipped to change the look and feel of the weapon or armour piece that you have chosen. This is going to be purely cosmetic but will allow for a lot more variety in the game. As expected there will also be new gear sets coming with the Rise of Iron so you can expect new versions of Iron Banner, Trials of Osiris as well as vendor gear, plus whatever raid gear and most likely some more strike specific loot. It has also been confirmed that Iron Banner will be reinvented. What exactly that means, nobody is sure yet other than Bungie, but I'm hoping it will be a lot more positive changes to make the Iron Banner event more enjoyable and maybe change it up a bit just so it's a bit more fun. Although I do like the idea of having the Iron Banner event where you fight in the honour of the Iron Lords and prove your worth to earn some nice gear. Lastly, there will also be a new Crucible mode, it'll be called Supremacy, which basically when you kill an enemy it will drop an engram-like item that you have to go and pick up in order to score points. This sounds like a lot of fun and takes the idea of kill confirmed from Call of Duty and similar other first person shooter games. There will also be four new Crucible maps so that will add a bit more variety. Hopefully this time around all Crucible maps stay in the mix instead of only focusing on the new maps which will get a bit old after a while since they'll be a bit repetitive playing the same maps all the time. Although I'm not much of a Crucible player, I'm still looking forward to all these changes because any new content, as well as old content staying relevant, is always a good thing and means more things worth doing, meaning that the replay value of the game is a lot higher. As always, I'll try my best to create individual videos covering each of these details, as well as any other new information that surfaces. Until next time, let me know what you'd like to see or what you're looking forward to seeing in the Rise of Iron and have fun preparing for the new expansion.